Welcome back to State Matters. I'm Matt Miratori. I'm very fortunate to have today uh, three of the five selectmen here. Uh, the Chairman uh, Ken Tavares, Vice Chair Tony Parmazano, and uh, Selectman Sheila Joyce. Thank you folks for joining us here today. It's a special day here today. And uh, Ken, you've been around a lot longer. Uh, and this has been something that we've been looking forward to for a long time. Talk about what this means, this $2 million uh, grant from Mass Works to the t Wharf here in Plymouth. Well, this is a very important day. As you know, we have been working on it for quite a while. This pier was in deplorable shape, and with the money that the town of Plymouth has put forward and the grant from the state, we are now under construction. Uh, as you probably recall, when we had Secretary Ash here uh, several months ago, uh, we took him out on a very cold, windy day on the old pier, and uh, he's a big guy. We were almost concerned that he might have fallen through. So this is progress, and it shows the uh, uh, relationship that we have with the Commonwealth and how working together we can make improvements because this isn't just a tourism pier. This is a working pier for fishermen in, in our area. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And, and, and uh, Tony, why don't you talk about the, the lobster and what this really means to lobster men. Sure. Uh, uh, people don't realize we're the fourth largest landing spot for lobsters in the Commonwealth. We land over a million pounds a year. We have a thriving aquaculture industry. We have uh, leases that the town leases out. We also have private interests in aquaculture. Uh, and these things are really growing, coming to fruition. So without this pier, without that economic piece that we, uh, that we need, and without that st state support, uh, those industries will not be able to thrive as they will uh, with this support. You know, and, and again, this show is all about why the state matters to local government. And Sheila, you're the newest member of the board. Uh, Two million dollars doesn't come around a lot from the state, but you're fortunate enough to be here at this time. You know, what does it mean to you? I think it's very exciting. It's a collaborative effort between the state and the town and the economic value to the town, all the fishermen, the pleasure boating as well as economic. It's a livelihood to people, so it's exciting to see it come to fruition. Absolutely, and, and it's also a, a, a testament to the town folks, the town employees as well, who have been so persistent over the years to make this happen. So, so thank you all very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome to State Matters. I'm your host, Matt Miratori. As you can see, on August 31st of this year, the town of Plymouth was awarded a $2 million mass work grants to complete the town wharf. Joining the selectmen, were Governor Charlie Baker, Secretary of Economic Development, Jay Ash, former Senate President Therese Murray, Town Manager Melissa Origi, Senator Vinnie DiMacito, and many others, including my two guests here today, the Director of Marine and Environmental Services, David Gould, and the Director of Economic Development, Jessica Casey. Thank you both for joining me. You're very welcome. Thank you both for what you did. And David, you, for your persistence, you, you realized this more than a decade ago when you started this process. And you were very persistent on this and, and pursuing this I mean, year after year after year. And, and Jessica, for uh, you know, making it, uh, uh, the administration understand not only the importance of this uh, for the town of Plymouth, but why it's important for the Commonwealth as well. So I want to thank you both uh, from, from all of us at the town of Plymouth. You know, for making this a reality. Thank you. And before we get into it a little bit, why don't, we, why don't we hear what the governor had to say about this, and then we'll come back and talk about it a little bit, okay? I'm here with the governor of Massachusetts, who used to be a former selectman, and we're very happy that you're here. You just announced a $2 million grant for the t Wharf, something we've been working on for a decade now here. You're a former selectman. I'm a former selectman. What does this mean? That means us? the selectmen just go on to do great things, Representative. <laughs> there you go. Um, well, what does it mean from a, from a state perspective now for this local community? Well, no, one of the things we've talked a lot about as a team is, uh, is expanding our capacity to use the MassWorks program to support local projects. Um, Secretary Ash is also a former city manager in Chelsea. We have Karen Polito, the lieutenant governor, is a former select person in, uh, in Shrewsbury. And our view is MassWorks is a great way for us to help communities stitch together worthwhile economic development, housing, downtown development projects. And uh, this one in particular falls right into the sweet spot with respect to all that. The town's putting money on the table. We're putting money on the table. It's going to generate a lot of economic activity here. People were talking about some of the activity that's already begun as a result of this project. And uh, this is the sort of thing we should be doing. Yeah, and this is the second busiest seaport in Massachusetts. So what is it? It's not just for Plymouth that benefits. It benefits all the Commonwealth. Oh, yeah. Well, and it's also um, it's very important to remember that um, there are 
many terrific projects around the Commonwealth, and this is a very competitive process. Um, and as I said, we've raised the amount of money we're spending on MassWorks because we believe in the program and we believe in the projects. But even with all that competitive opportunity, Plymouth was still, uh, was still considered to be a winner with respect to this, in part because of what it does for Plymouth, but as you say, also because it is a pretty significant and busy port yeah, period. Right, right, right. Governor, thank you so much for what you've been doing for, for not just Plymouth, but for the Commonwealth. It's been a great pleasure working with you. Thanks, for, Thanks for coming out. I appreciate yep, that. Care. We'll be right back. David, let's discuss the MassWorks grant. And, um, and what's the importance of this for the town wharf? I know that you have mentioned for years the town wharf was a need for repair, but it's not just about the repairs. Tell, tell us what it's about. Yeah, so as you mentioned earlier, um, we have been working on this project for quite some time. So it was about uh, 11 years ago that we got the first funding to do the uh, engineering and permitting for the, the project that you're seeing under construction right now. And so um, the MassWorks money was really the, the sort of uh, linchpin that allowed us to f actually get the project to construction. We had some funding from town meeting, um, fortunate enough to get funding that way, but we still needed about half the construction costs and uh, the MassWorks application was um, absolutely critical to getting us over that, um, that threshold to be able to put the project out to bid and get it under construction. And what was the total cost of the project altogether? Four million dollars. Four million dollars, okay. And uh, we heard you know, Ken talk about it's not just a pier for tourism, but it's a working pier. Talk about that. Yeah, so right now, as most folks know, everything's sort of uh, crammed onto Town Wharf. So uh, the fishing boats, um, the commercial uh, activities, the whale watch boats, the party boats, um, everything is on that one pier. And so with the new wharf, we we'll to have um, a, a pier dedicated to commercial fishing. Um, so all the fishermen, but also um, all the new um, individuals doing aquaculture at the development zone will have a new fishing pier. Um, they'll be able to work on that and it'll be dedicated to them. Um, there's also a pretty nice uh, boardwalk associated with the project, um, which will increase pedestrian safety, but also allow um, residents and tourists that are interested in watching uh, the fishing uh, fleet come in and unload. They'll be able to stand there safely and watch that. So kind of a neat connection between commercial and tourism mm -hmm. as well. And, and, and Selectman Provisano was talking about it's the second largest in the Commonwealth, I believe, next to, to Gloucester. Correct. Um, to talk about that a little bit. For the, what does it really mean to the lobstermen? Yeah, so you're going to be able to have a, a new structure, entirely new structure, um, that they'll be able to drive vehicles on. Um, as everyone knows, um, the old T-Wharf was uh, restricted to vehicular access. You'll be able to drive out there now. Um, the fishing um, activity will be able to not only go on and load and unload, um, we'll have new jib cranes out there that'll, uh, that'll be used out there. We'll have a concrete deck, so if fabrication needs to happen, there's no risk of fire that way. Um, new water, sewer, utilities, and lighting out there. Um, all of which should make uh, the fishing yeah. fleet uh, yeah. a lot more efficient. Yeah, that's, that's terrific. Um, Jessica, we're going we're to listen to uh, Jay Ash talk, and then we're going to come back and talk about the work you did with him and, and his, uh, his staff. Let's, see, let's listen to what Jay had to say. I'm standing here with the uh, Secretary of Economic Development and Housing, uh, Mr. Jay Ash. Jay, thank you for coming to Plymouth once again. I think you've been here at least a half dozen times. Uh, it we feels like home. It <laughs> feels like home, Representative. Thanks for having me down here again. It, it's, it's, it is a great. It's America's hometown, of course. Um, but this does it. This this two million dollar grant that we've been awarded in Plymouth, it just doesn't benefit the town of Plymouth. Talk about how it benefits the Commonwealth as a whole. Well, the first most important thing is that Plymouth and the lobstermen and the and people who have been here for years, or decades, for generations that have made Plymouth go. Uh, we'll have a new facility, new resource uh, to fish off of. So that's the that's the most important thing. But yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, Plymouth is America's hometown. It's it's attracting residents, uh, attracting tourists from not only uh, Massachusetts, not only New England, not only the United States, but around the world. And uh, when they uh, come here and have an experience, we want to make sure that it's a positive experience. Uh, you you folks in, in Plymouth have done a great job at welcoming, uh, but you can't foot the bill alone. And so it's important that the state step up and sometimes the federal government step up and help you out. And, and we really appreciate it. And you had some comments earlier about the, 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 the town working well, so well together, and this community does work well. But it really works well with this administration. I've heard a lot of people talking today about how quickly they've been able to get grants through, and it's much of an easy, easier process. Can you talk about differently what you've done about the grant process? Yeah, sure. We uh, have made sure that we spend a lot of time out with uh, people in the community, talking to them about what the, what the visions uh, are, and, and making sure that they understand that in order to get a grant, there needs to be something 
something that happens afterwards. Uh, lots of people say, you know, give us a grant and something will happen, uh, may happen, uh, we hope will happen. But in Plymouth's case, not only did you demonstrate that something could happen, but you had all, all the actors standing with each other side by side saying this is important enough to us that we're going to actually make an investment ourselves so that really moved us yeah yeah and this shows all about why the state matters to local government you're a former city manager yeah. so what would this been like if you were a city manager to get two million dollars yeah well you know i was a beneficiary once or twice of the master program myself so i know how important it is for uh, local um uh, uh leaders to make sure that uh there's state resources available to help out because you know cities and towns you can't do it alone and especially when you're hosting so many people from out of state, from out of country, um, it's important that we uh, share the burden with you, and uh, we also share uh, the benefits. Quite frankly, um, you know, uh, but you know, to the point about us all working together, one of the reasons that we're here and we come here is that um, it's not only a great reception, but you all have your act together, and that's so important. And I appreciate the support from the legislative delegation, uh, but the folks at town hall, your elected and appointed officials, they know what they're doing, they get it. And uh, when it comes to economic development, it's important that everybody's working on the same page. We certainly have that feeling that you're doing that here. Well, we appreciate you recognizing that because we know we've, we've done that for a long time here in Plymouth, working together, and we appreciate the recognition of that. Yeah, so thanks. And you can tell. I mean, yeah. it really showed. The place looks great. And, uh, you know, I was talking to a couple of, uh, of tourists before I got here, before I came down here, uh, when I parked my car and just asked them about their experience. And they were raving about the experience, you know. And so it's great to hear that that's positive reinforcement. It says that you all are doing the right thing. And it benefits the Commonwealth. And the, benefits and the, and the, uh, yeah. Yep. Well, thanks very much okay. for coming. We appreciate that. We'll be right back. So Jessica, we, we heard um, JS talk about uh, how the town has their act together, um, and uh, he talked about the uh, sharing the burden of the and sharing the costs with the community, you know. And the governor was talking about um, you know the economic activity that goes on in this area and in the Commonwealth and how this helps the Commonwealth. Talk about the economic uh, value of this to not just the uh, the town of Plymouth but the economy for the entire Commonwealth. Why is this why is this important to the Commonwealth? Sure, absolutely. Um, well, I think there's a few reasons why the MassWorks grant was successful and, and competitive in the process. And one of those is that match that you had mentioned earlier. So one-to-one -one match. If the town appropriates two, approximately two million and we ask the state for two million, then that's a one-to-one -one match. But there's also a separate piece and that separate piece is um, development, private development, and then employment. And so when it comes to private development and private investment, one of the things that we were able to do was project that with a $2 million investment from the state, we'd end up with more than a $20 million private investment. Um, and really what that looks like is the aquaculture licenses that David and his team are working on, but also a lot of development in the area as well. So we know that the Water Street Roundabout has a parcel that, uh, where there was a building that has come down and a new building will go up. There's also more residential along Water Street. And so we talked a lot about how an investment from the state and the appropriation from the town would really support and be a catalyst for development in that area. And then the second piece is the employment piece, which is very regional based. So we know that there are more than 1,000 jobs that rely on the T-Wharf. We know that there are 300 existing jobs that are in the area. Um, we estimated that 223 new jobs would come about based wow. on the licenses and that we uh, around $16 million of revenue would come into the town based on the aquaculture licenses. So when um, I think that the town of Plymouth should be really proud when we think of aquaculture and also lobster. You know, 1.1 million pounds of lobster came through the Plymouth port in 2015. And when we think about aquaculture, we know that three uh, farmers were working 10 acres of land a couple of years ago, and now we have 33 farmers working over 100 acres. And of course, that's the good work of David and his team, but um, when it comes to an economic story, especially one that's local and regional, it's easy to tell when you see that kind of movement in the industry. Yeah, right, right. Um, David, we're going to listen to uh, former uh, Senate President Theresa Murray and, and Melissa Rigge talk. When we come back, we want to talk about the process of the mass work grants because I know you, you you thought the process was a lot easier this time around. So let's let's hear what they have to say and let's let's come back and talk about that. Sure. Let's hear uh, former Senator Terry Murray and Town Manager Melissa Rigge. We're back. Um, big day here in Plymouth. And I'm joined here today by the town manager, Melissa Rigi, and a very special guest, the former Senate President, Terry Murray. Thank you both for joining me today. Uh, big day, $2 million T. Wharf grant. Uh, Terry, you've been around for a long time. You, you probably started this whole thing off. What does it mean to the town? 
Uh, it's really important to the town because this is the um, economic vitality for the fishing industry and the lobster industry is right here. And this has been failing for so long. We've done a lot of temporary fixes and put a lot of money to it there, but this is going to be really important. And what this leads to after that is the dredging of the harbor so the boats won't be sitting in mud and people will be able to come in and out. It's just going to be a real boost for the economy. Absolutely. Thank you for all your efforts over the years for doing this as well. And Melissa, thank you to you and your staff. I mean, you've been very persistent over the years. You know, th this show is all about why the state matters to the local community. You know, why does this matter so much to Plymouth that I do? You know, this makes me really proud. Even when you served on board of selectmen, I think that the community here, as well as the elected and appointed officials, have been incredibly supportive when it comes to our natural resources. And certainly, this is one of the biggest ones we have behind us. It not only supports our lobstermen and our fishermen, as well as economic development, like Senator Murray said, but in addition, it shows a huge commitment on the part of the town and the state in recognizing the importance of this for so many reasons. Thanks so much, and we'll be right back. So David, we heard Senator Murray talk about the, uh, the process of the Mass Work Grant and we, and we heard the, uh, the governor talk about the restructuring of how they did that. Talk about that because you've gone for Mass Work Grants for a number of years. Talk about this process and how it was different. Yeah, so over the years we've been fortunate to get um, quite a few different grants on many different levels, um, federal uh, and state grants. This one was interesting because it was a, a large amount, obviously $2 million, uh, but what was really refreshing about it was we um, we were able to spend, get the contract out, move pretty quickly, getting the project out to bid. Um, we actually, uh, several weeks ago, um, put the reimbursement package together. Um, we put the package together and sent it on a Wednesday. The following Monday, we were wired the $2 million reimbursement, which just... It's unheard of. I was almost yeah, shocked. Yeah. I, I had to actually see the, the wire transfer to yeah, believe it. And, yeah. um, it was extremely efficient. Uh, which again was extremely refreshing to deal with a grant like that. But don't you think, Jessica, I know you had um, um, Jay Ash here in town several months before this mm -hmm. and his team to see the process. Does that play into this? Absolutely. I think collaboration is a huge part of this and I think um, allowing the administration to understand what Plymouth's plan is and what the strategy is here and how we value traditional industries is very important. So mm -hmm. being able to showcase that and answer questions in advance I think really helps to expedite that. Yeah, yeah. And we heard um, Terry Murray talk about dredging too. Right. Talk about that a little bit and, and the need and the importance of that. So t for a long time was the single most important project we were trying to get done. Um, now that we've done that, we need to tackle what uh, is the next mm -hmm. uh, critical issue in the harbor, which is really dredging. And uh, dredging is inherently uh, complex because you have different layers. Army Corps is responsible for uh, certain areas of the harbor, the town is responsible for some, and the state is responsible for some. And so we've sort of got to weed through all of that and f identify the areas that need the, the priority. So right, right now we're really focusing on trying to get the area dredged from um, state boat ramp over to the new wharf um, in front of town wharf. And then obviously the state also has some interest in potentially partnering with the town around state pier, uh, which would obviously benefit uh, the state, but also the Mayflower too. So um, that's something we've got to um, work towards and get um, engineered and permitted. And then we can try to hopefully seek some funds to get that actual work done. And then we'll have medium-sized ships come in as well, or what size? Boats yeah, it would, ships it would come be in? tremendous because we would have a, a much greater opportunity to get larger vessels in to visit mm -hmm. Plymouth. Uh, we could also do the mid-size, um, smaller ships um, like the Blount Cruises that would come in, which would be a, a really great benefit and tourism attraction for the town. Uh, where you'd have people coming into the town, walking off the piers, visiting the restaurants. Um, we think that would be one of the, the best uh, tourism additions to the downtown if we could make that happen. Yeah, okay. And, and, and Teresa Murray and, and Melissa talked about the, uh, actually Melissa talked about the boost to the economy, the local economy. Talk about that a little bit. A little well, bit more. Sure, when it comes to dredging, we've talked a lot about tall ships coming and how we can really piggyback on um, them coming to Boston in June 2017. But as David said, when you have visitors that are coming off of a cruise ship um, and visiting restaurants and staying in the local hotels, it just adds to the local economy and we see that trickle down effect, more jobs, um, different educational opportunities and it really just cycles through. So we're excited to push forward with dredging. I think it would, is a huge opportunity for the town and uh, it's definitely something that will, that will benefit tourism as well as economic development in those industries that we've been talking about today. Why don't we listen to the last clip we have, which is of Senator uh, DiMacito. Let's hear what he has to say, and then we'll come back and wrap this up. Okay, we're back. I'm here with uh, Senator DiMacito. 
Uh, and Senator's been around a long time. He's a state rep for 16 years. Uh, he's been working on this project for several years. Uh, and this, this, this project uh, means a lot to you today, not just from a town level, from a state level. What, is it, what does it mean? Well, it, it really just it, it means a lot to the town of Plymouth. This is an, this is important because, as you can imagine, we we benefit so much from from the harbor here and the economic development from the fishermen and from you know this general area. Having you know this facility redone, refurbished, commitment from the town and the state uh, enables us to leverage a, a whole bunch of economic activity. That's going to mean a lot of extra tax revenue for the community, extra jobs, and that's what we try to do. I mean, you and I have worked together closely, and the job. What we consistently try to do is build relationships with the you know with the administration and with state government to help our community our community get its fair share up on Beacon Hill, and we. We and you have been very effective at that. Yeah, thank you. We've had uh, the governor here on several occasions. Uh, we've had uh, Secretary Ash here on several occasions. And uh, they've really worked well with, with uh, the delegation down here. And talk about, I mean, their backgrounds. Uh, you know, the, the, the governor was a selectman. Uh, Jay Ash was a uh, city, city manager. You know, what does that mean? Well, the thing about this administration that I've seen is that the number one focus they've had is it's if the community does well, the state does well. And so they've gone back to the communities and asked them, what's important to you? What What is the best way to expend state dollars? And that's what we've seen happen. They, they have spent time, listened to the community, and in, do, in doing such, I think that that's why we're seeing this cooperation between the two of us. We know um, what would leverage, and in this case, $2 million for this particular thing, $2 million for Cordage Park. We know that in doing those two events, we're going to leverage millions and millions of dollars in private you know, economic development. That's a good thing. They listen, and this is, you know, this is what the result of it. So this is a big deal for the town of Plymouth. And the summary, that's, what, that's why the state matters to local government. So thank you very much, Senator. Thank you very much, Representative. We just heard uh, Senator DiMacito talk about if the community does well, the state does well. Talk about that a little bit and what that means. Sure. Um, I think that uh, Secretary Ash spoke about it. Um, Senator DiMacito spoke about it. The governor spoke about it. It's definitely something that is a theme uh, throughout the administration where there are 351 cities and towns in Massachusetts. Uh, 78 of those are coastal communities, and if the state has the ability to help out each community and each community is able to do well, then uh, the rising tide lifts all boats, uh, mm -hmm. so to speak, and all <laughs> like the communities <laughs> uh, along with Mass do that much better. So I think that part of that is identifying what the unique characteristics are of each community. Clearly Plymouth has over 30 miles of coastline, not every community in Massachusetts does. So. Uh, how can the state help support infrastructure projects that focus on marine and the, and the water? Um, and how do they make Plymouth strong? And that, in turn, uh, then reflects on the state, of course. So um, it's exciting to see that type of a approach taken, and uh, we're happy to work with them. Mm. And I, I know we held this event at uh, Wood Seafood, and, and uh, the owner, Jay Kimball, spoke. And he talked about the investment he's doing in his building. Mm -hmm. And do you see others that will that will invest more money on that pier once it's uh, once it's done? Absolutely. You, we all know how much pride um, the town of Plymouth has, and the residents have, and the businesses have. And so, it's just one example of how an investment like the one that the state has made, and also the town, how that really inspires people to put effort and funds and resources into making their own business that much better. And mm -hmm. so. With the boardwalk that David spoke about going around woods um, and Jay Kimball expanding his building and the fish market. I mean, all you need to do is stop down and say hello to him. You can just see how excited he is about yes, it. And yeah. I think um, that's absolutely contagious to a large extent. And uh, the more people that are talking about it and excited about it, the better off it'll be. Mm. David, there's, uh, there's work being done there now on the boat ramp. So explain to people, because I know sometimes I talk to people and say, well, isn't it already being done, the T-Wharf? No, it's not. Explain the difference, what's happening now with the boat ramp and the, and the town wharf. Yeah, so the town wharf project that we've talked about is a, is a commercial uh, fishing pier uh, dedicated to commercial activity. Um, just very close proximity across the way is the, um, the boat ramp project that's going on. And while the town uh, manages the boat ramp, uh, the responsibility for uh, the capital investment um, falls with the Commonwealth, the Public Access Board. And so um, I know that project's been frustrating for a lot of folks and the delays that, that have been incurred, um, but it's a Public Access Board project that over the last few weeks is finally starting to make some significant progress. Um, they've had about six to eight of the precast panels installed and um, working around low tide, they're finally getting a, 
a good handle on getting that accomplished. So um, what we're hoping for is a completion date sometime around early October uh, for that project. So um, next season, we'll have both the T Wharf um, and the new um, boat ramp done um, and a lot more access to the water after I that. I was going to ask you that. So when are they going to start the work on the T Wharf? Or have they started already? Well, the T-Wharf is a project that's going on now. Okay. Um, so that's, that's well underway. So this money will help finish that then by next spring? Um, well, we're looking to have the boat ramp uh, completed by October. Um, but the T-Wharf will be completed by the spring? Yes. T-Wharf should be wrapping oh, up probably good. somewhere around December or January. Oh, really? Um, wow. That's the anticipated oh, wow. date. Um, obviously, so far we've had great weather. If that weather yeah. is able to continue, uh, I didn't realize it was going to be that early. Oh, um, that's yeah. 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 Um, by then, it'll be about a, a nine to ten month construction window, so mm -hmm. um, it's going relatively fast, but so far so good, and um, projects on time and on budget, which is always good, but uh, by next spring, we should have a new boat ramp and the new T-Wharf done. Excellent, excellent. Great job, yeah. great job. Now, Jessica, I know there's some other things in the works. Mm -hmm. I know uh, recently we were able to get, with your help, the $2 million mass work grants for Cordage Park, but what else do you have going on? Sure. Um, well, just to touch on Cordage Park really quickly, I think your viewers will probably be interested to know that the demolition of Walmart has begun. Um, you can't see the people working on it because they're inside the exactly. building okay. doing some work there, but uh, there will be 204 residential units developed on that Walmart parcel, and we should see the shovels hit the ground fairly soon on that, so it's very exciting. Uh, but the Town of Plymouth did um, submit a MassWorks grant for this um, MassWorks ground, grant round. And that is the Water Street Revitalization, which is from the DCR State Park to the Water Street Roundabout. Um, and it will do a couple of things. The first thing it'll do is uh, relocate utilities underground. The second is to increase um, vehicle and pedestrian safety along that stretch. Uh, and then the third is to really help uh, catalyze redevelopment and revitalization along Water Street on some of those parcels that we see that might currently be underutilized. So, uh, once again, we're talking a lot about private investment, and uh, the request is five million, but the but the return will probably be between thirty That's and great. forty million private investment. So very exciting. That's great. That's great. Well, I want to thank you both again for what you've done for for the T War, what you continue to do for the town of Plymouth. It's an amazing town, and it's because of people like you that make it amazing. So thank you so much again, and thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having Absolutely. us. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. I want to thank uh, Ben and Dave here in the studio for a terrific show and. And thank Brian, too, for all doing all the footage on site on August 31st. Um, until next time, uh, we'll see you again on State Matters. Have a good day.